So now that we've got our bird flapping and our background scrolling, we need to make something happen when the bird touches one of the pipes. And to do that, first of all, I've just gone to my flappy bird and I've gone to costumes and I copied this costume, renamed it to a live, copied it and went into edit. And I just put a little, used the line tool to put a little X over the eye and just very poorly painted on a little brush tongue. Um, let me just get There we go. So there's my dead costume. So on our scripts for Flappy Bird, when the green flag is clicked, go to, we're going to use our go to script for this, and we want to make sure that it switches to costume alive. Then we want a forever loop and an if inside it. And if our sensing block is touching colour. Click on your colour box to get the colour option, the colour picker, and you can just click on one of your pipes to pick up that dark green. If touching colour green, switch to colour, uh, switch to, so back to look, switch to costume, dead. And we also want it to glide. let's say three take three seconds to glide to wherever it is there and Y position of the bottom of the screen is minus 180 so minus 180 um, there we go that should be it I think let's try it Try and crash into a pipe. Shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. And there. And then at the bottom, all we want at the end of that is a little control that is stop all. And that looks like your basic flappy birds scratch game let's just test it out see if i can get through a gap no can't get through a gap so i'm dead just like i'm on the real thing fantastic the one thing i haven't worked out yet is how to get it to count how many pipes you go through so if you can do that then extra bonus points to you but that's how to make a really simple flappy birds game in scratch enjoy